the number of COVID-19 cases in Dallas skyrocketed, Lou Lockhart worried about his colleagues and the public they serve. Lockhart, president of United Steel Workers, USW, Local 9487, needs disposable coveralls, coronavirus testing and other aid to protect the hundreds of city and county workers who perform essential public services, with local treasuries already stretched to the breaking point, he believes it's now up to the federal government to step in and provide resources to help slow the virus spread. Advertisement But instead of lending the assistance that public servants across the country urgently need, Donald Trump offers a monumental failure of leadership. Burying his head in the sand, Trump's big plan involves wishing the virus away while leaving Americans, including Dallas dedicated government workers, in ever mounting peril. For me personally, there's a certain fear of what might happen to my family and myself, said Lockhart, a probation officer who has seen both co workers and clients stricken by COVID 19. It's on your mind all the time, he explained. You can't escape it. Dallas workers first experienced shortages of personal protective equipment PPE, when the pandemic struck in late winter, and some items remain in short supply. In recent weeks, the state seizing of lockdown restrictions and spiraling infection rates also created new challenges that Dallas and other communities will have difficulty addressing on their own because of budget shortfalls caused by the COVID-19 recession. Advertisement For example, Dallas workers want coronavirus tests to make sure they neither spread the virus to co-workers or the public nor bring it home to loved ones. And government facilities, especially smaller and older buildings scattered throughout the metropolitan area, require renovations to ensure the social distancing crucial to controlling the virus, with local budgets decimated by the crisis. The city of Dallas already furloughed hundreds of workers. Only an infusion of federal money can pay for these and other measures that public servants need to protect themselves and the people they serve. Advertisement Yet Trump not only failed to channel existing stimulus funds to hard-hit areas like Dallas but also refused to use his clout to push an acceptable local government aid package through Congress. It angers Lockhart to know some stimulus funds, like the nearly $1.4 billion the Trump administration mistakenly mailed to about 1.1 million dead people, was squandered while his workers need so much help. Advertisement, But it wasn't just a shortage of money that left communities across the country vulnerable to the pandemic. Trump's reckless conduct allowed Dallas, along with large swaths of the South and West, to become the COVID-19 hotspots they are right now. Face masks and social distancing play critical roles in controlling the spread of COVID-19. But many people across the country, including some in Texas, refuse to follow those guidelines. Now, they're paying the price with soaring infection rates. Advertisement This is a part of the country where it's warm, it's hot, and it's uncomfortable to wear a mask, Lockhart explained. And people don't like mandates. Trump could have made a difference, instead of insisting that people take the common sense safety precautions recommended by his administration's own health experts. However, Trump emboldened mask opponents by refusing to wear one himself. He even ridiculed people for putting them on. I think that significantly helped politicize things to the point where you were macho if you didn't wear one, said Lockhart who still sees people in the greater Dallas area walking around without them. Advertisement As if flouting mask guidelines weren't foolhardy enough, Trump's mass gatherings, like his campaign rallies in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Phoenix in June, signal that it's all right for Americans to assemble for parties and other events even though the virus spreads swiftly through large groups is exactly the kind of community spread, especially through gatherings of people in bars, that drove the dramatic COVID-19 surge throughout Texas. 
On June 30, Dallas County reported a whopping 600 new cases and 20 deaths in a single day. Americans' refusal to follow mask and social distancing guidelines also contributed to fresh outbreaks of COVID-19 in more than 20 other states, with the U.S. seeing more cases now than when the pandemic hit months ago. This is the height of the summer, and we're having this kind of problem. It doesn't bode well for us in the fall, Lockhart said, noting a wave of the flu could leave residents even more susceptible to the virus. Advertisement Trump's failure to roll out a comprehensive COVID-19 testing program was one of the biggest blunders of his initial pandemic response, and he learned nothing from his early mistakes. He just decided to cut funding to 13 COVID-19 testing sites in five states, two of them in Dallas and five in other parts of Texas, at a time people need them most. After Trump's own Republican allies protested this irresponsible decision, he agreed to extend the funding for some of the sites, but only for a mere two weeks. Now people are panicking to a certain point and want to get tested, Luckhart said citing the hours-long wait at one Dallas testing center. Officials vowed to keep some of the centers open without federal support, but that will just mean dipping into already depleted local treasuries or diverting money from other pandemic-related initiatives like contact tracing. Advertisement right now, Luckhart and his colleagues work in a constant state of anxiety, never knowing who among them might have the virus or get it from the public. He still hopes the federal government will come through with money and other resources so workers can protect themselves while safely serving others, and Luckhart hopes the nation develops a unity of purpose that will prompt a greater number of Americans to wear masks, practice social distancing and take the other steps health officials recommend to combat COVID-19. If we can get more people to follow the directions, maybe that will help to turn this thing around, he said. Advertisement Tom Conway is the international president of the United Steelworkers Union, USW. The article was produced by the Independent Media Institute. Enjoy good journalism. Then let us make a small request. The COVID crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. Unbinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support in this difficult time. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Value Raw Story? Then let us make a small request. The COVID crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help. Like you, we believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Let's block ads. Why? 
Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.